Hello. How are you doing today? My name is Tony Rizzano, and this is another episode of the world famous, the University of Love, the best podcast in one, two, three galaxies. But ladies and gentlemen, you and I, we just call this show Online Marketing Moves, and we are coming to you live today. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a very exciting show. Today we are going to talk about goals, why you should set them, why you should hit them, and why you should never stop having goals having uh, visions, thoughts, aspirations, all that good stuff, okay? The reason why we should all set goals is because sometimes in life, you know, you say, hey, I want to do X, Y, Z. Man, you don't, you never write it down. You never, you never make it a goal. And then what happens? A year from now, two years from now, three years from now, 10 years from now, you are still daydreaming about the same thing you've been daydreaming about but once ladies and gentlemen you write it down once you put it on paper once you say this is a goal of mine and then you see it and then you say how can i make this happen i will give you a prime example today took my wife we went to go look at rvs recreational vehicles okay Wife, this is something she's been talking about for a while. We've been talking about for a while. We would like to go. We would like to buy an RV. We would like to drive around the great country of the United States of America in an RV. We, we, and we, and we talked about it for a while. And then she said, when are we going to uh, actually go look at RVs, and I said, soon, and she said, okay, and then finally today, I said, you know what, today's the day, and we went, and we looked at the RVs, seen the RVs, very nice, you know, looked at the price, all this, all that, then I I got home, I wrote down a note, I put down gold, Buy an RV by the end of 2025, okay? Now, now that I've written down, now that I looked at it, and I got about 50, I got about 50 things that I've written down, you know, that that I want to do, that I want to get done, you know? And now that I've, now that I've written it, I see it, I see the RV, I see the, I see it go, I see the vision, me, my wife, my daughter. I see us driving around, <laughs> going up, going down to Florida, going up to Maine, going across to, you know, Wyoming. All this good stuff. I see us traveling all around the the world, you know, in the RV. Um, now that I see it, now that I visualize it, now that I wrote it down, it's like, what am I gonna do to make this goal happen? And lately, I just been I the last let's say four or five months, I've really started like just honing in, writing down goals, and so today this is why I want to talk to you about this. This is something that you can do, and they don't have to be, you know, they don't have they they it can be any goal, you know. Let's say you want to lose ten pounds in a week. You write it down. Say, hey, I want to lose 10 pounds this week. What? And then you think to yourself, <clears throat> what are you going to do to lose 10 pounds in a month? You know, and <clears throat> I mean, in a week. You know, you can exercise, you can eat, you can do whatever. But write it down, see it, visualize it, and make it happen. And this is how goals work. <clears throat> this is what we all need to do. This is... This is something that, you know, instead of, <clears throat> and I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a piece of advice. I ain't talking down to you, but I'm talking to you. Okay. The less time we consume with the entertainment world, you know, the less time we entertain, you know, our friends, our family, their drama, their nonsense. And the more we focus on the task at hand, the things that we want to do, ladies and gentlemen, you can get a whole lot done. I'm telling you, it's nothing but 
a fact. Okay? You don't realize how much time we waste, you know, just looking at social media, watching stupid YouTube videos, listening to people. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm my, me and my wife, <clears throat> it was a couple weeks ago, we saw, no, last month, January, we drove to Missouri, okay? Went to go see my dad. It was his birthday. On the way back, we had we had seven hours to drive. We had time to kill. We watched this. We watched the interview by this comedian, Cat Williams. He talked for two and a half hours, and he was, you know, talking about comedians and talking about Hollywood, you know. And I thought to myself. If my wife wasn't in the car and we wasn't on this road trip, I would never spend two and a half hours listening to a listening to a person in Hollywood talk about other people in Hollywood. All of y'all are in the same boat. Who cares? And it's like whenever somebody tells you, "Oh man, so and so and so and so they broke up," who cares? You know, the less you focus on all that, the more you focus on you, the better off you will be. And so. You sometimes, some every now, sometimes you want to write. You want to write goals down. You want to write the goals. You want to look at the goals. You want to you want to find somewhere where you can see the goals. You know, every now and then, if you want to look at them every morning, look at them every morning. You know, write them down, jot them down. You know, then when you hit them, you know, check it off. Be like, ooh, I did this. I did that. You know, I did this. I did that. Listen, you can write down a thousand things. Let's say you you knock out a hundred of them. That's still that's still good, you know. You so you know I could write down now with like a trillion a trillion dollars. We all know that ain't gonna happen for me, but but you know if I put you know, I like to be a I like to be a millionaire, you know. What could I do to become a millionaire? You know, start a business, start this, that, the other, you know. Of course, of course, of course, those are attainable goals, you know. Even if they're not attainable, you still want to just write stuff down, you know. Write stuff down, see it, and, uh, you know, have something to look forward to. Have something to look forward to because the one thing that you don't want to do, the one thing that you do not want to do is... You do not want to become, you do not want to become the person who always has to escape the life that they're living. You know what I mean? And and when I say that, what I mean is, let's say, I give I give an example. I give an example for my life. I used to drive. I used to when I used to be on the road all the time, all the time, and I would get like a day. I would get like a day off. You know, I would go to a. I would go. I would go to a hotel. I would get out the truck, go to a hotel, you know. And uh, it would be like, all right, what am I going to do all day? Watch TV, eat, eat a bunch of bad food, watch more TV, lay on the phone, and be like, ooh, man, I'm off today, blah, 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 blah. Waste a bunch of time, you know, because I was escaping. You know, it was like an escape because, you know, I, I didn't, I wasn't thrilled about being gone for like three or four weeks at a time, you know, but had to have had to have an escape route. And sometimes, you know, instead of me thinking, what can I do to finally escape this thing? I'm thinking about escaping for the moment, you know, instead of thinking about the long term, long game. You know what I mean? And so you don't want to fall into that kind of category. So a lot of times uh, everybody, when I tell you these stories, and normally these stories, because, you know, I can't speak for anybody else, but I don't want you to have to go through the long, <laughs> the long process that I went through, you know? I'm here to free all of you, you know? Like, hey, let's go. Let's all be free. Let's all have time. Let's all have, you know, um, the life that we want to live, you know what I mean? And so when I tell you these stories, it's not to, you know, 
I'm not looking for pats on the backs. I'm not looking for tears. I'm just here to let you know, you know, hey, it can be done. And you can avoid these. You can avoid this. You can avoid that. Do this. Do that. Avoid this. Avoid that, you know. Some of you are going to listen to some things. Some of you are going to listen to no things. Some of you are going to listen to a lot of things. It's all up to you. But I'm just here to give you the information. Um, so, so yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I would escape and I would go watch TV, watch a, a, a sports thing. Now, it's nothing wrong with watching. There's nothing wrong with watching TV every now and then. There's nothing wrong with watching sports every now and then. But what you don't want to do, you don't want to get caught up in the outside world all the time. Okay? You don't want to get caught up in that. You don't want to you don't want to get caught up in that all the time, you know. Who's who's doing this? Who's doing that, you know? You don't want to be that you don't you don't want to fall into that category, okay? And so what can, what can you do? There are plenty of things you do. You can write goals down. You can write down achievements down. You can write down, you know, what do you want to do? What do you want to be in two years? What do you want to be in three years? You go back, you look at it, you say, Oh, let me get started on this, let me get started on that, you know. The one thing that will help you the most is you will come to a certain point. It's, and you'll come to a certain point in your life. And you'll be like, uh, I don't know if you ever watched Popeye, but back in the day, I used to watch Popeye the Sailor, man. And Popeye, he would be getting beat up. He would be getting whooped upon. And he would say, uh, you know, all I can stand is I can't stand no more. He would eat his spinach. He would hulk up. And Popeye would whoop upon people. And, uh, and uh, that would be it. But so, and so, uh, and so, yeah. So when you start writing goals down, when you get to that point, you're like, you know what? I'm ready to go. I'm ready to do this. And you start writing your goals down, what you want to do, where you want to go. You know, who do you want to be with? Who you want to hang out with? Who you want to spend time with? You know, start writing these goals down. You know, I wrote, I wrote, I, I wrote, I wrote, uh, let me see. Let me peer through my phone for, for you. I'll give you a couple of examples of some goals. I wrote, I wrote down like 50 goals in the last month. I have an iPhone and I use these notes. I write a lot of notes. You know, things are, uh, yeah, things I'm going to do. Uh, one thing that I wrote that I can share with you, I put get paid to speak. And what I mean by speak is speaking on stage at different events, you know, because, you know, one thing that one thing about this, one thing about creating content, you know, owning a business, running a business is you got to figure out ways to make extra money. And one thing you can do is speak on stage. You know, if somebody wants to hire you, you get you get good at speaking. You get good at presenting things. And then they say, hey, we'll give you $5,000, $10,000. You come speak on stage. I wrote that down as a goal. We are going to make that goal happen, okay? Because, hey, I can't wait for you to see me on stage speaking. And that's always going to, that, that helps credibility. That helps um, get you more. And then if you speak, if you speak good, you entertain it. You entertain the masses. Like I do every day for you, <laughs> you will get more and more bookings. You know, now I don't, I'm not looking to get, I'm not looking to be on the road 365 days out out the year. You know, been there and done that. But once a, once a month, once every quarter, somebody wants to invite me to this to a speaking event. I'm all for that. Okay, and so that's the goal I wrote down, and. Um, I want you to do the same. I want you to write down some goals, write down some things you want to get accomplished. And um, enjoy it. Enjoy the enjoy the ride. Enjoy the journey. Never, never feel like, never feel like, you know, I can't wait to get to this goal and accomplish it and then be like, oh, that's it. No. The journey is a beautiful thing. The journey is is fun. It's 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 uh, very exciting. You know, 
I was talking to my wife the other day, and my wife, she has some things that she's she's working on, you know, and, you know, she, she didn't say, she didn't say, I can't wait till I start this thing to sell this thing, you know what I'm saying? No, she said, I got to do this, I got to do that, and even though she was a little hesitant, I, I heard the excitement in her voice, you know, she has, she has a lot of excitement, she likes to, um, she likes to create things, she likes to, um, start things and she likes to and she likes to do business and she likes to run a business and so she's very excited she's not gonna come out and say that but i know my wife and uh but the thing is she wasn't like i can't wait to start this thing to end this thing you know no nobody does that enjoy the journey enjoy the moment that you are in enjoy when you first get started because you will always remember hey i remember when i first got started dot 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 and I remember when I got good, dot, dot, dot. You, you will always remember those kind of things, you know. I will give you an example and then we will get out of here. I remember when I was when I was driving trucks. And it was it was one day I was just driving. And they had, they sent me to New York City. I've been driving like eh, probably four, three, three years, maybe four years, maybe something like that. They sent me to New York City. I go to New York City. I see a sign. It says, you know, height trucks get off the highway. I thought they meant all trucks need to get off the highway. I was the only one to get off the highway. But I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to cut out the minutia for you. And I'm get to, I'm going to get to the meat of the story. I get off the highway. <laughs> I'm on this. I'm in the streets of New York. Have you ever been in New York City? Very congested, a lot of people walking around, a lot of cars parked on the side of the road. I thought to myself, you got to be kidding me, you know? What are, what are we going to do? Then I'm driving. I look down. I see my hand. My hand's not shaking. Normally, when I first started driving, I would get nervous. Hand would start shaking. I'd be sweating. Leg would be shivering. It, it'd be bad. But I, it, there was no shake. There was nothing going on. I was like, you know what? I got this. I'm in control. Everything's going to be A-OK. -okay. And so we drove. I was on Flatbush Avenue, for those of you that know, I guess. And I got, I made it. I made my way to the airport. Went to the John, John F. Kennedy Airport. Got there safe and sound. Everything worked out, you know. And so after that day, I was like, you know what, man? I am good, you know. Not overconfident, but I, I was... I had reassurance, and when you are, you know, working on these goals, and you and you 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 will start to see, you will start to hit these goals, and you will start to see daylight, and you'll be like, you know what, I am good. I am getting good at at the thing that I want to do, and it's a beautiful thing to watch, and it's a beautiful thing. It's a good feeling to have in your body, and um, it would definitely happen to you. So write down. I mean, I mean, write down any and every goal that you that you have. You know, if you want, if you want to go, you know, spend the night out in the in the in the middle of Wyoming or something like that. You know, to look at the stars or whatever for like three days. You know, you ever want to do that? Write that down. If you want to pay off your debt, write that down. Write everything down. Any and every little thing, small goals, big goals. You know, medium-sized goals, goals of tomorrow, goals of five years from now. Write them down. Write them down. You will see. And it will give you, and, and, and something will start to trigger inside of you. And it's like, how can I do this? How can I do that? Let me figure this out. Let me figure this out. Because I'll tell you what. When, I went, when we went to the RV place, and when I walked into the RV, I thought to myself, you know what, man? I am going, we are going to own an RV. I am going to figure this out. I am going to buy the RV, not and not just. And I thought to myself, forget you know, making payments and all this kind of stuff. Like, you know, we're going to pay a big old chunk, you know, of it up front. And I, and I said, you know what? That's gonna be that's gonna be my. It's like a two. It's like a two prong goal, you know. Get an RV, but at the same time, instead of it becoming a liability you know make make a big old big old payment and we're going to do that 
through the podcast and the websites and everything else, you know? And so it it helps it helps you think, it helps you, you know, it gives you some motivation, gives you some thoughts, some clarity, you know. It's uh it's a it's a thing. It's a it's a real thing, you know. It sounds superficial, it sounds kind of crazy sometimes, but it's true. When you set your when you set your sight on something, you really set your sight on it, you know, and you really want it, you know, there's nothing in the universe that will stop you. Now, like I told you before, I have to say universe because I know some of you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that don't matter. But that, ladies and gentlemen, write down all, all your goals, any goals. And uh, we will be back Monday with all new episode of Online Marketing Moves. I thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed the week of shows. We will be doing this on a regular basis. I know in January we had a few, you know, we had sporadic Sporadic uh, December and January, the sporadic uh, episodes, but don't worry about that. We are back, we are here to rock and roll, and we are here to help you out. And so, you can always email the show, you can email me, Tony at tonyrizano.com. And um, that's that, and we'll talk to you Monday. All right, so until then, God bless, and as always, everybody, peace.